Yeah, keep in mind nearly half of the missions to Mars end in failure, so landing an SUV-sized rover on the Red Planet is kind of a big deal. After eight years of planning and a nearly seven month trip through space, finally the moment NASA and science lovers had been waiting for. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Within minutes, the Perseverance rover sending out its first photos of its new home. NASA engineer Helen Huang watching that moment along with the rest of the world. It's still incredibly nerve wracking. This is my third Mars mission and it doesn't get any easier. In the next few days, the rover will begin its primary mission, searching for signs of life past or present on the red planet. We have more advanced instrumentation that's going to be part of it. And then uh, we have a helicopter that's going to be flying on Mars. And then I think the best part, we're actually going to be collecting soil samples from Mars and we're going to bring them back to Earth eventually with two other missions. None of this would be possible without Huang and her team's work at NASA Ames in Mountain View. Her team worked to create the heat shield to protect the spacecraft and rover from 2,500 degree Fahrenheit temperatures as it entered the Martian atmosphere. We have to basically take 90% of that kinetic energy that we come in with and basically just reject it all to make sure that we don't burn up the rover. That's the whole point. The whole spacecraft is there just to protect that Perseverance rover. Scientists around the world and right here in the Bay Area watching every development in the mission to Mars. Ben Burris, an astronomer at Chabot Space and Science Center, saying big scientific endeavors like this are a gift to the scientific community, but also pay off for society at large. So solving the problems, how to drop a robot onto Mars, can be some of the same thinking process toward solving problems back on Earth. So I think it's exercise. Now, this is just part one of the multi-year, multi-trip mission to Mars. Plans are already underway to develop the Mars sample return missions to gather the samples that the Perseverance will leave on the surface as it explores and return those samples back to Earth. That sample return mission currently scheduled to launch as early as 2026. Reporting live, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News.